today the mayor is uh, reopening Bourbon, the new Bourbon, and uh, we're here to take uh, advantage of the, the scene and uh, let it be known that he put out a lot of workers whenever raids were conducted on a different club. I am not a victim! I am not a victim! Utilities and drainage, water, sewer, on Bourbon Street has been... dancing for 10 years. I've danced in 12 different states and I moved to New Orleans because of the safety, because of the way the clubs are ran in a professional manner, because of the sisterhood and the family I feel with the dancers here. We make great money here. The adult entertainment industry in New Orleans is thriving. It's a fact that the, sh the city should be grateful for because it brings in so much tourism and it creates the iconography that is Bourbon Street. No! No! Bourbon Street! No, New Bourbon Street! No, New Bourbon Street! More than this, it's about women's rights as well. If I want to go take my clothes off to support myself, I should be able to. This isn't a final destination for most women. This is where we go to pay for our schooling, to pay for our families, to pay for our health. This is actually a very, very big deal to most of us, and they're putting women out of work. The adult industry is historic in New Orleans. It's been going on for 300 years. We're about to have our anniversary soon. I think everybody can uh, tell you that somebody knows a stripper. We're business owners, daughters, mothers, you know, lawyers, doctors, nurses. We paid for a lot of stuff with stripping money. And uh, it's purely entertainment. It always has been. Bourbon Street's yeah, always all a bit about all the razzle dazzle. I have a small business, I have a family, um, and I know a lot of these women are just saying they're animal rescuers, and they're not just strippers, but we use this income to subsidize a lot of those really great things that we do in the world. And by putting a kibosh on that, they're really fighting against us, not with us.